Um, Hal is the new vampire uh, who's moved into the house uh, as of episode two. Um, and he is, he's, he's an old one, basically. He's kind of a much, much, much older character than, than, than anyone else in the house, or anyone else I think who's been in the series uh, so far. He has this horrendous, terrifying past um, that's constantly haunting him, constantly trying to catch up with him. So he's been living in this barber shop in South End um, for the last 50 years under, under the protection of um, Leo the werewolf and Pearl uh, the ghost and they're kind of his mentors and kind of uh, people who kind of keep him stable and sane and kind of uh, away from all of the temptations that, that vampires have. I suppose at the very start when he moves in it's, it's quite um, full of friction and that kind of thing but as the episodes go on and on I think Hal kind of, uh, kind of proves himself a little bit that he is reliable and he kind of comes into his own a little bit um, in terms of you know looking after Tom and looking after the baby and, and looking after Annie as well because as strong as Annie is Annie's kind of can be quite fragile especially when different um, elements uh, as the series progresses come in and try and throw her life into chaos as well. So were you nervous about joining such a successful show? Oh my god, are you mad? Uh, of course I was. No, I was terrified. Um, only because the relationships were so strong in the first three series, you know, and I was, you know, and I knew that Aiden was, was leaving, obviously, um, when I got the audition, but I, I wasn't sure what my role was going to be when I came to the house. I knew I was a vampire, but I wasn't sure what relationships I was going to have with Tom or with Annie. Um, so I was kind of nervously excited because I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but at the same time, I wasn't sure how I was going to fit in. Now, being human does have such rabid fans. Are you nervous about the fan reaction to Hal? A little bit, uh, as my voice squeaks. Um, I, I was, and obviously, I mean, coming in, not replacing Aiden, because some people have asked me what's it like to replace Aiden, and I don't think I am replacing Aiden. You know, Aiden was such a fantastic actor, and he created such a fantastic character in Mitchell. You know, he was, I mean, he was, he was the cornerstone of the house for three years. So. When, before I started shooting, I was a little bit nervous about that aspect of it. Um, but the more and more I've read of the script, uh, Hal is such a different character to, to Mitchell. Um, so different. Um, not half as cool as Mitchell. He's not very nice to other people when he comes in first. But I think as the series kind of develops and he becomes more and more comfortable with his surroundings and, and as he becomes able to trust Tom and Annie in terms of looking after him, um, I think he kind of comes into his own and, and he really kind of uh, comes to kind of love and protect uh, the baby and, you know, and love Tom as a brother and, and really, really love and respect kind of Annie in, in a really maternal way. Um, and just finally, can you just give us one uh, teaser or hint about the fourth series of Being Human? Well, the old ones are coming, um, and Hal knows a lot more about the old ones than you might expect.